Hello, here we are with a quick hardware size comparison of this, the Motorola Moto X against some other smartphones that are available on the market or you may have used in the past to just give you an idea of what it's like in terms of physical size if you haven't had hands on with it. So let's bring in the LG G2 first. So if we stand them up, you can see the G2 is quite a bit taller there and it's also quite a bit wider. You can see uh, from the sort of side profile there, the curvature of the Moto X, um, sort of fairly comparable in terms of the actual overall thickness when you lay them down on the actual desktop. So the actual thickness in the hand is comparable, but the overall size, the G2, is bigger. Here we have sort of kind of like the baby brother, I suppose. This is the Motorola Moto G. So actually, standing them up they are very very similar in terms of overall sort of size lying them down if anything the Moto G is actually the thicker of the two units when you run your finger over them you feel like you're dropping down to the Moto X here so just have a look there how the design profile is uh, you know very very similar uh, indeed there they are sort of side by side both have got a little bit of curvature more on the Moto X. We then got the Samsung Galaxy S4, of course, a very popular handset. You can see how the sizes differ quite considerably. There you go. Now on to a much older device, but a popular one nonetheless, the Black Bold 9700. I mean, there's no comparison in terms of the actual overall uh, size there. You can see how the height is considerably bigger on the Moto X, as is the width. But thickness, you know, there's no comparison there. The Moto X uh, definitely wins. Of course, key differences being the uh, keyboard, but just to give you an idea of the actual sort of form factor. Got the original iPhone 4. So, again, some difference here. Uh, the iPhone, a bit more curved. Not as tall, not quite as wise. Thickness though, probably comparable if you look at them side by side. And lastly, another very popular handset, the Samsung Galaxy uh, S2. So you can see here how they are very similar in terms of actual height and width. There's not an awful lot between them. The Moto X is probably just that bit taller there, um, if you can pick that up. But not, not a lot of difference there. The S2 is slightly squarer in terms of thickness, very, very comparable uh, between the two. So that's a quick hands-on comparison in terms of the size of the Motorola Moto X.